The evolution of humanity and our harnessing of fire are inextricably linked with our cultural and societal advancements. Firelight used in early evenings extended our days and is credited with the development of language and the growth of societies. The use of firelight for interior and nighttime lighting refined over many centuries to include candles and gas flames. In the late 1800s, the invention of electric lighting and electric distribution systems changed the world forever. The Illuminating Engineering Society was formed in 1906 by researchers and engineers of that time with a primary mission to develop a method for measuring light and to create the standards so that systems could be engineered with reliable solutions. The first half of the 20th century saw rapid development of lighting systems and use of incandescent, fluorescent, and mercury vapor lighting systems. The expansion was rapid in the United States, a key factor in the acceleration of the economic strength of the country. This growth led to the first IES handbook, published in 1947. The second half of the 20th century saw further developments of high-intensity discharge sources, but ultimately will be remembered for the energy crisis that changed the focus of lighting innovations to energy efficiency, such as electronic ballast, compact fluorescent lamps, small halogen sources, and improved HID sources. The IES expanded its library of standards in the Lighting Handbook to cover a broad range of applications, focusing on quality and energy-efficient lighting design practices, including the use of lighting controls. And now it's time for our next evolution. With the discovery of a new biological photoreceptor and the rapid acceleration of LED light sources that are changing our understanding of light and our capabilities to control it. These advances in science and lighting practice expand our need for knowledge and our ability to apply advanced communication methods to engage a global membership.